Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, August the 1st. It's the 10th week after Pentecost and week 4 in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service is Psalm 72 and Matthew 27, verse 45 to 54. Join me now in singing verse 7 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. God, you have proved our suffering souls to make our graces shine. So silver bears the burning coals, the metal to refine. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Alleluia. Psalm 72, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. And your ruler shall judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills bring righteousness. And your ruler shall judge the poor of the people, and save the children of the needy, and shall break the oppressor into pieces. Your ruler shall live as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. And your ruler shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. And in his days the righteous shall flourish, and the abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. Your rulers shall have dominion from sea to sea, and from the river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The rulers of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring gifts. The rulers of Sheba and Seba shall offer tribute. Yes, all nations shall fall down before your ruler. All nations shall serve him. For your rulers shall deliver the needy when they cry, and the poor that have no helper. And your ruler shall spare the poor, and shall save the lives of the needy. Your ruler shall redeem their souls from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And your ruler shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba, and prayer shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit will shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. Your ruler's name shall endure forever. His name shall last as long as the sun. And all people shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call your ruler blessed. Blessed be God most high, the God of Israel, who does wondrous things. And blessed be God's glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with God's glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 27, beginning at verse 45. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachathani, which is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, This man is calling for Elijah. At once one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, the earth shook and rocks were split. The tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, 
They came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, Truly, this man was God's son. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to sing. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, lead us in the ways of justice and truth, that peace may flourish in our days. Soften our hearts that we may have compassion on all your children, especially the poor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.